Hey, Yang Teacher Thoughts here coming at you with another video. We're gonna do a short series on viticulture today. And I have with me Ag Teacher Thoughts Senior, who is a former county agent. He worked for Oregon State University. And one of the things he specialized in was berries, which also include grapes. So we're gonna do a little bit of pruning. It's gonna kind of cut and match here. Um, and yeah, you'll learn a few things. I know Northern Idaho isn't a huge grape area, but from where we came from, uh, it was. Uh, so where I was was around the Newburgh Dundee area, and there was over 400 vineyards in the immediate area surrounding Newburgh, Oregon. So I learned a lot about grapes, I learned a lot about wine, but most of my information came from this guy right here. And what we're going to take a look at today are pruning table grapes. Table grapes are pruned differently than wine grapes. So you've got wine grapes, that's a whole other story. Wine grapes is not something we're going to cover because very, very few high schools actually have vineyards where they produce wine. Now, I do know of one over in Oregon uh, where they have a school vineyard and they actually produce a school bottle of wine not prepared by students, but prepared by a local, uh, a local uh, winery. winery. Thank you. Sorry, couldn't think of the word this morning. It's early on a Saturday. So we're gonna uh, accomplish a little bit of that today. Uh, but first we're gonna take a little bit of a, a look at our vine that we're gonna be w working at. And we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, kind of cane selection and, and what we're gonna do. And then we'll cut the video and do a couple others and I'll title them under whatever it is that we're doing. So hold on just a moment while we reposition. Okay, as you take a look at these canes, it looks like a real mess. And what you want to do on table grapes is choose what we call a sun cane. They're the ones that have been, uh, received the most sunshine. They're going to be the most vigorous, have the most stored energy. And so we have to look to select them. And this is one grape plant and it runs for... 40 to 50 feet. We're gonna shorten its reach quite a bit to do that. But as I look at these canes up here on top, this one here looks like a nice one for sun cane, so we'll save it. We'll follow it down a little ways and clip it off. And there's another cane here that looks pretty good. I need to see where it came from before we cut it. But that's what we're gonna be looking for, sun canes. And then once we find the sun cane, you see branches that come off of that sun cane. And so we'll prune this to two buds. One bud here, two buds here, and we'll clip it off right here. And these will be the buds that will produce the canes that will produce the fruit for you because uh, the fruit comes out for about the first seven nodes on the shoot. And after that, they get real long. And that's one of the reasons why you see in the wine grape companies, they cut the vines back quite a bit so that in one, you get sun to the fruit, and number two, you get rid of all the extra foliage that's taking up energy and water. Okay, so that's what we're gonna look at. Uh, so we'll reposition and think a little bit here. And then we're gonna start sorting through some of the canes that we're gonna use. And Mrs. Ag Teacher Thoughts is here to learn, uh, but she's chosen not to be in the video, so you don't get to see her in this. Uh, but we're gonna go through and do some fun stuff here. So you kind of see things uh, uh, along the way and we'll take a couple of shorts uh, and uh, put those in here. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Early March, again, we're a little late in the process, but this is when Ag Teacher Senior was able to get in here and uh, um, we had a free weekend because those of you that have followed the channel understand that for the last few months, I have been solely dedicated to the greenhouse. So hope you learned something today. Ag Teacher Thoughts, subscribe and stay tuned for our series on pruning table grapes. 